Hello and welcome to another session from Cloud Masters Inc. In today's digital age, businesses live and breathe in the cloud. Our applications, data, and customer interactions reside in sprawling data centers distributed across the globe. This reliance on the cloud brings immense advantages, but it also exposes us to new vulnerabilities. What happens when disaster strikes? A natural calamity, a cyber attack, or even simple human error can disrupt operations and bring your business to a grinding halt. This is where disaster recovery and business continuity come into play. Disaster recovery is the ability to restore your IT infrastructure and data after an unforeseen event. Business continuity, on the other hand, focuses on maintaining essential business functions during and after a disruption. Both are crucial for minimizing downtime, protecting your reputation, and ensuring your business remains operational no matter the circumstances. Imagine a scenario where an e-commerce company experiences a major outage in its primary data center. Orders go unprocessed, customers can't access the website, and revenue plummets with every passing minute. With a robust disaster recovery plan, this company could quickly shift operations to a secondary data center, minimizing downtime and mitigating financial losses. The cloud has revolutionized disaster recovery, making it more accessible and affordable than ever before. Cloud providers offer a range of services and tools to safeguard your data and applications. However, implementing an effective disaster recovery strategy in a multi-cloud environment requires careful planning, implementation, and testing. One of the cornerstones of cloud-based disaster recovery is multi-region redundancy. This approach involves replicating your data and applications across multiple geographic regions within a cloud provider's infrastructure or even across different cloud providers. By distributing your resources, you create a safety net that can catch you in case of a regional outage. Think of it like this. If one region experiences a power outage or a natural disaster, your applications and data remain safe and accessible in another region. This redundancy minimizes downtime and ensures your business can continue serving customers without interruption. Multi-region redundancy is not just about backing up your data. It's about strategically distributing your resources to maintain high availability. This might involve replicating your databases, applications, and even entire environments across multiple regions. The goal is to create a resilient architecture that can withstand even the most significant disruptions. However, Achieving multi-region redundancy requires careful planning and consideration. You need to choose regions that are geographically distant enough to minimize the risk of simultaneous outages. You also need to factor in data replication latency and ensure your applications can seamlessly fail over to a different region without impacting performance. While multi-region redundancy provides a safety net against regional outages, Backing up and replicating your data is equally crucial. Backups create independent copies of your data, which you can store in different locations or even with different cloud providers. This redundancy adds an extra layer of protection against data loss due to accidental deletion, malicious attacks, or software corruption. Think of backups as your insurance policy against data loss. You might have a robust disaster recovery plan in place, but accidents happen and having a recent backup can save you from a world of pain. Backups can be performed at different frequencies depending on your needs and risk tolerance. Replication, on the other hand, focuses on creating real-time or near-real-time copies of your data in a different location. This approach is particularly useful for critical applications that require high availability and low recovery time objectives. By replicating your data, you ensure that even if your primary data center goes down, you can access the most up-to-date information from the replicated copy. When choosing a backup and replication strategy, it's essential to consider factors like data volume, recovery time objectives, and recovery point objectives. Recovery time objectives refer to the maximum acceptable time it takes to restore your operations after an outage, while recovery point objectives refer to the maximum acceptable amount of data loss you can tolerate. Imagine a scenario where your primary data center experiences a major outage. With multi-region redundancy and data replication in place, you have the resources to recover, but how do you ensure a seamless transition? This is where automated failover mechanisms come into play. Automated failover is like an intelligent traffic controller for your applications and data. It constantly monitors the health of your systems, 
and, in the event of an outage, automatically redirects traffic to the designated backup resources. This process minimizes downtime and ensures your business operations remain uninterrupted. Think of a website hosted in a multi-region environment. If the primary region experiences an outage, the automated failover system detects the issue and automatically redirects traffic to the secondary region. Visitors might experience a slight delay, but the website remains accessible and business continues as usual. Setting up automated failover involves configuring your infrastructure to detect failures and defining the desired failover behavior. You can choose to fail over entire applications, specific services, or even individual components depending on your needs and the nature of the outage. Thank you for sticking around. Kindly subscribe, like, and share. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section.